Hi, and welcome to another MI How To video. My name is Tom Clark. I am your host. And on today's How To, I want to welcome Josh Fleming. He is with SKF. And he's got a really cool thing with him today the SKF Hi, Tom. Pulse. It's brand new, isn't it? Yes. And, and I'm excited about that because I know it involves a phone, a machine. It just technology is so amazing these days, isn't it? Yes. Okay, so let's talk about the SKF Pulse. What is it, and why is it useful? Well, Tom, these days, data is a powerful asset. With SKF Pulse, we're giving customers the power to let data drive their decision making. Absolutely. I mean, it's huge in plant operations. So what inspired SKF to create this device? First, we looked at the obstacles to improve plant performance and reliability and found that many companies struggle to implement good predictive maintenance programs, especially in small to medium-sized plants. Really? Why the struggle? While most companies know that condition monitoring is the most cost-effective and efficient way to manage their assets, there's limited budgets, plant infrastructure shortcomings, and lack of on-site skill sets to analyze and make sense of the data collected. Okay, that can cause a uh, run to failure environment that hurts overall plant performance and the bottom line is affected. Exactly. They need a solution to help them predict machinery issues before their operations are impacted. All right, so safer, more productive, and ultimately more profitable plants. Yeah, so SKF Pulse is a portable vibration and temperature sensor combined with a free mobile app that quickly and easily identifies machine condition. You can monitor overall asset condition on virtually any rotating equipment with problems related to balance, alignment, looseness, lubrication, electrical, cavitation, and damage. That's incredible. I mean, it seems easy to use. So let's see it in action. Sure. Let's take a look at the first few important features. Okay. Users download the app and register to get started. Okay. From there, you create asset profiles as you want and select industry standard or customize the alarm threshold. So I can, I can do this for a lot of different machines, not just one. Right. Okay. You're guided through the asset profile questions like asset type, application, machine size, flexibility, and so on. Basically, the more information a user can provide about the asset, the better the analysis will be. Now, to show the measure of an asset, turn on the sensor. Okay. Okay, so it's just, it, is that magnetic? Yes, there's magne a magnet that threads into the sensor, and okay. then I powered it on with the power button here. Okay. And then I place it on the asset. Oh. Then I select within the app the desired asset okay. and collect the measurement. Users can instantly see machine health and potential problems via these intuitive green, yellow, and red indicators. Another really useful feature is the live reading, which provides immediate diagnostics for a quick check on machine status without having to create an asset profile. Okay, so now can I, okay, not just here, but maybe I could take this and I can move it here? Sure. Okay, what about over here? Yes, within, so, within anyway. the app, yeah. it guides you intuitively through the data collection process on a number of assets. Wow. Again, the real bonus for users is SKF Pulse Check. If you determine a diagnosis is required, simply request a pulse check here, and the data is sent to SKF via the app for analysis. Users receive a pulse check report back within one business day with a detailed report and recommended corrective actions if required. Wow, users can collect valuable data on an unlimited number of assets and absolutely no training is required, and SKF is providing really valuable machine insights as well. And it's portable, so you can move it from machine to machine. Plus, users have access to over 100 years of SKF's industry-leading expertise and benchmark data, so predicting and improving machine reliability is easier than ever. Good stuff. I love it. SKF has done it again. Thanks, Thank Tom. you very much, Josh. I appreciate that. Josh Fleming with SKF and the SKF Pulse. It's good stuff right there. Um, if you noticed, we had PPE on the table. We didn't really need it for this demonstration, but uh, remember, if you're in the plant, the facility, and, uh, you know, PPE. Wear the right stuff so we stay safe. That's priority number one. Number two, head to mihowto.com, and you can check out more videos just like this one with me, Tom Clark, as your host. But thanks for watching today.